So yeah, there's some pretty big news to talk about right now. Um, I wasn't really even planning on doing a video, but here we are. So hey, what's up everybody? David here back again with another video. Um, yeah, so I don't normally do like these news videos as much anymore, but I feel like this one's pretty significant. Um, San Diego Comic-Con is happening, you know, right now. And uh, Marvel's doing their big Hall H. Well, they did their big Hall H presentation, which I thought was going to be tomorrow. Um, and some pretty big news just came out of there. Um, so it's kind of crazy right now that I'm looking at this as we speak. Um, they, they, they had, you know, a lot of stuff from the Thunderbolts and stuff like that. Uh, some other Marvel stuff that, that was happening. Uh, they confirmed the title to the Fantastic Four movie. Um, the Fantastic Four First Steps, which I think that's, that's a fitting, you know, title for that movie. And, uh, it's starting production this Tuesday, which is pretty crazy, uh, with, uh, a theater release date of July 25th, 2025. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm on board for that one, 100%. Um, one of the other bigger announcements was Avengers Secret Wars um is uh is coming out May 2027. Um they did change the logo just a little bit and um uh, and yeah I mean it looks fairly the same they did change it a tiny bit um and um like I said May 2027 and the biggest part of that was the Russo brothers are back to direct Secret Wars. Um I'm super excited for that. Uh, I love what the Russo brothers have done with the Avengers movies, obviously. And uh, and they've even made mention over the years that the only way that they would come back is if they were to do Secret Wars. Uh, so I think I kind of already had a feeling that it was bound to happen. This is just official confirmation. They are back. The Russo brothers are back for Avengers Secret Wars. Uh, so that's going to be really, really exciting. Uh, the bigger announcement or the other announcement, other big announcement was that, uh, obviously this whole thing with Jonathan Majors has put a wrench in everything, um, as far as Avengers 5. Um, Avengers 5 was called Avengers the Kang Dynasty, um, centered around his character Kang the Conqueror. Kang the Conqueror, I was excited, so, so excited for that, uh, that whole story element that whole storyline uh to play out now unfortunately we're not going to have that hopefully they, they they kind of i i hope that they at least finalize it in a way that makes sense rather than just drop it all together and we don't see kang at all anymore um that i guess that's my biggest concern about it moving forward into the next avengers movie but um yeah they had a new title already and it's called Avengers Doomsday. So already right there tells you a lot without saying much at all. It pretty much confirms we are getting Doctor Doom in the MCU, finally. Um, especially with, you know, Fantastic Four uh, happening as well. That it just makes sense, right? But uh, But this is where it gets even crazier the russo brothers are coming back for avengers doomsday as well so they're doing another uh, avengers twofer uh with avengers doomsday and avengers secret wars that's already mind-blowing in itself and i i love that idea just completely um the other part of that <laughs> the other other part of that is and it, this is from Marvel's uh, official account. Um, it says the Russo brothers return to direct Marvel's Marvel Studios Avengers Doomsday, starring Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom. <laughs> what? I mean, I'm not like that's crazy. How how are they going to do something like that? Now, first thought, a variant. You know, that's probably the the easiest and best way to explain that something like that happening. Um, but the character of Doctor Doom is Victor Von Doom. 
um, not Tony Stark. But they could do a twist to it where I know in the comics that kind of has happened before. Uh, like an alternate version of Tony Stark becomes Doctor Doom, takes up the mantle of Doctor Doom, and I think that's what's gonna happen. Uh, in this in this instance, that maybe uh, you know, a a variant of Tony Stark ends up just becoming Doctor Doom and using that name, Doctor Doom, um, and not necessarily needing the character Victor Von Doom. I don't know. I mean. A lot of questions. I was literally just staring at the picture of the logo for about five minutes, ten minutes, just thinking back in all my knowledge of, you know, comic storylines and things like that, how that could possibly play out. Or if there's ever been a storyline like that, where that it could make sense with, with uh, this phase of the MCU. And I, I could not completely 100% confidently uh, have a theory right now at the moment but this is very interesting and very very cool a lot of questions that are being thrown out there that a lot of questions that i want to ask so bad um but i feel like you know the, the questions are there and yeah it doesn't make sense like right off the bat but with the russo brothers names or name attached to both of those movies I feel like, all right, I can have faith that it is going to make sense or they're going to do a story that makes, uh, you know, makes possible sense to to all those those things. They even had a little clip of Robert Downey Jr. showing up at Hall H dressed in green with these druids uh, with Dr. Doom masks on. And he literally, he was dressed up as Dr. Doom, surprised the audience, took off the mask, and it was him. And the crowd went wild. It's insane to see. Uh, so, so cool. Um, I don't know if I can post a video here. If I will, then you'll see it. If not, then be sure to check out Marvel's official uh, accounts. Uh, I saw it on Instagram. Uh, be sure to check that out. And you'll see the clip that I'm talking about. Insane. And he already kind of looks the part. Like his hair is kind of you know, growing out a little bit and it's a little gray on the side. He already looks a part of Dr. Doom, <laughs> which is weird. Um, but so, 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 so exciting. Um, I'm going to be following this very, very intently. Um, and so let me know what you guys think of the news, like the big news that that's just coming out of, of, of Hall H. Um, you know, are you guys, guys excited about something like that? Are you just kind of like, eh, how are you like, yeah, that's kind of dumb. Let me know in the comments. I am super excited. I do feel like there there is going to be a, a way to explain this all. And I cannot wait to see what it is. Um, my my son just asked, and it's funny because my son just asked me a question just the other day, you know, randomly. Like, what would it be like to experience all those comic book stories again for the first time? You know, when you were reading them as a kid. And I was like, oh my God, man, that would be so amazing. And then I, something like this happens. And I feel like that same excitement as a kid, you know, like this is something that I would never think that I would have seen at all in my life. And we're getting to see something that doesn't make sense. A lot of questions are out there. Everybody's going to be scratching their heads as to how, what, why, when. And that is so cool. Like the mystery of it all is so cool. And I'm, I'm again, I'm here for it. You know, they, they got me on board and I cannot wait to check out what they have in store for all of us. Anyway, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. If you don't get it found it informative in any way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well because I will be coming back with more videos as always. And with all that being said, let me know in the comments what you guys think of the news. And we'll catch you next time.